Hi, my name is Matt Young with uh, UCF uh, Physical Therapy. Today we're just going to demonstrate a modality used for compression. We're going to be using this machine right here, intermittent pneumatic compression, on our patient who is a post-op uh, uh, left hip fracture, so he just had surgery. We're going to be basically using the compression device to prevent any uh, deep vein thrombosis associated with the edema in this left leg. Um, basically, what this uh, compression device will do is help increase the uh, venous return through the leg. Therefore, it um, helps prevent venous stasis in this leg, ultimately reducing its chance for deep vein thrombosis. Um, there are a couple of contraindications and precautions with the use of such a modality. The contraindications include heart failure, pulmonary edema, we have uh, acute deep vein thrombosis, um, obstructed return, skin infections, we have acute trauma, hypoproteinemia, arterial revascularization, or our peripheral artery disease. There are also a couple precautions associated with this modality and include uh, any kind of decreased sensation to the limb, any uncontrolled hypertension, uh, cerebrovascular insufficiency, any kind of cancer, or performing the treatment over a superficial peroneal nerve. We have Kenny here in the supine position. His legs are bolstered up uh, and elevated to increase the venous return back from the distal to proximally. So we have this leg just in an independent position here. Um, as far as treatment parameters are concerned, we're gonna use an inflation to deflation ratio of three to one for the lower extremity. So we're gonna go with uh, 90 seconds on of inflation, 30 seconds off at deflation. Um, we're gonna adjust the pressure as soon as the treatment begins. Uh, ideally, we want this uh, between 40 and 80 uh, millimeters of mercury, and we're going to start it with 40. Total treatment time, we're aiming for two to three hours. Uh, since we're not treating deep vein thrombosis, we're trying to prevent it, we want to make sure our patient does not already have a deep vein thrombosis. That would be indicated by pain, swelling, redness of the calf. I could assess that by performing a home inside on our patient. Basically, I'm going to put him into passive dorsiflexion, and he would be having pain with the calf, I could also give the calf a squeeze here, increase the pain. That would indicate, indicate a current deep vein thrombosis and treatment would not be indicated for that. Um, next, I'm gonna basically take a uh, blood pressure measurement before, during, and after the treatment. So I'd assess his blood pressure. I'm also gonna wanna take a uh, circumferential measurement for uh, documentation purposes and the quantifier treatment today. So I'm gonna go 15 centimeters below the knee, 15 above to get the thigh, and I can do a bimalleolar uh, measurement as well. Now that we've ruled out all the contraindications and ruled out DVT, we're going to apply the stockinette to the area of treatment. We want this stockinette to be over the entire treatment area and wrinkle free, as so. Now we can apply the compression sleeve. So that's on the entire treatment area there. Next, we're just going to hook up the the hose from the machine. Make sure that's tight. We've already checked all the valves to make sure they're correctly applied. Check the rope here again at the uh, machine. Now that we're all set up, we can go ahead and turn the machine on. Again, we have 90 and 30, our 3 to 1 ratio of inflation deflation time. Our pressure is going to be between 40 and 80 millimeters of mercury. Uh, since this is the first treatment, we're going to start it at 40. All right, after we've begun the treatment, I'm basically going to uh, reassess patient comfort. Is this all right for you right now? Yes. He's okay right now. I'm also going to leave him with a call bell just in case he has any adverse uh, effects during the course of the treatment because it is a two to three hour treatment. All right, now that treatment is complete at the end of the two hours, I'm going to turn the uh, machine off. I'm going to unzip the sleeve. And we're going to remove the stockinette. Once we have all that off the patient's leg, we're going to reassess, just check for any kind of skin irritation, um, any redness. Uh, we're going to uh, re-measure our circumferential measurements that we took earlier around the knee and around the ankle. We're also going to reassess the patient's blood pressure to uh, see if there was any adverse reactions during the treatment. Um, expected outcomes for uh, this treatment is to prevent any future deep vein thrombosis in our patient. And that basically concludes our modality on intermittent uh, pneumatic compression.